That was Kylie Minogue with her new single, What Kind of Fool? Well, I don't think Miss Minogue is any kind of fool. She's an absolute megastar, and I am very honoured because she's here with me on Parallel 9. Hello, Hi, Kylie. how are you? Thank you very much for coming up to Parallel oh. 9. Now, you've just released a Greatest Hits album, yeah? Yes, I have. Now, does that signal some sort of change in your career now, wrapping up the old and going into something new? Yeah, it's like, uh, well, wrapping up, it feels like a neat, neat package from uh, the last five years. And do you see yourself changing your music, say maybe going away from the dance style and going to something like rap or becoming a rock chick like Shirt? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, not a rock chick. Um, I still do dance music, but uh, it will obviously be a bit different. Now you're very well known as a singer and of course for Neighbours. Mm -hmm. And to a certain extent you've done a lot of growing up in public, haven't you? Do you get fed up with the press sort of sniffing around for Kylie gossip and news? Uh, yeah, the press, uh, well the press can be fabulous and they can also be dreadful so it just depends which particular cycle I'm in at that time but yeah so, I mean, the intrusion of privacy is not the easiest thing to so do. So in order to have a private life do you um, sort of resort to elaborate disguises and <clears throat> sort of go down high streets wearing wigs and beards and things like that? You know one of those glasses with a nose and <laughs> no no I just um, just put a hat and sunglasses on but it really doesn't do much I mean I can be feeling very unlike me and it's amazing people spot me so, do you find it very easy to um, relax? I mean, can you sort of sit at home and watch the television? Do you like doing that sort of thing? Do you get the chance? Uh, yeah, I, if I have time off, I normally shoot out of the country somewhere or, you know, spend time with friends. Or I often have days where I just stay in and watch videos or read. Ooh, which or just... videos do you like? Ooh, well, I have a... I don't really watch the same ones over. I guess some of my favourites have been... Catching up on films. Big Blue and things like that. Things like that. Yeah. Um, now, you've got into writing your own material as well, haven't you? I mm -hmm. mean, that, where do you get your inspiration from? All over the place, really. Um, yeah, I, I think people always imagine that you take it from, you know, books, films, mm. uh, magazines, which is true, but I take a lot of inspiration from my friends as well. Well, I'm sure that your success story is going to continue. And for those Kylie fans who want to help us celebrate that, we're running a competition, and Kylie's going to set the question now. Okay, uh, which year was my single, I Should Be So Lucky, number one in Great Britain? Okay, and if you answer that, correct, that correctly, you will win a Kylie LP and a Kylie video. And the question is, in which year was I Should Be So Lucky, a number one hit single for Kylie in 1985? Please send your answers to Parallel 9, BBC TV, London, West 12.